you organize something without structure? No, you can't. Can you structure something without prioritizing things? No, you can't. So, if our lifestyle management can only be positive if we prioritize the things that are righteous within our lives and that priority or that structure organizes how we move, what we strive to achieve, then we're being governed by principles. Now, I have been taught and I have chosen to accept this that the principles in which govern human existence is love, life, loyalty, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. These same principles not only govern human existence, they lead us on a path of growth and development. Now, people may say growth and development is, is an organization, it's, 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 it's GDs, it used to be gangster disciples. You can say all that, but won't argue any of those points. The point I will make is Growth and development is a process of going from stage to stage, degree after degree, until one reaches perfection. That's what growth and development is. So never get that confused. Now, in organizing our lifestyle, structuring our behavior, prioritizing the things that we have in life, we begin to see the better qualities of our existence. So, if a person chooses to be detrimental to their own well-being, and what I mean by that is to live outside those principles, because you have to understand that if you love something or someone then you give your life energy to the well-being of that which you love that life energy is seen in your loyalty to whatever it is that you love and loyalty in that sense is your service and cooperation to the organized scheme of that which you love in that loyalty you can't help but to grow and develop through your study, observation, and application of your knowledge applied wisely. This will bring you full circle into an understanding of the thing that you love or the person that you love to where when you interact with it or with them, you can settle disputes and maintain order through a fair and just interpretation of laws and principles. See, it's, it's that cycle of 360 that makes the process of growth and development so beautiful. It's when that understanding has fully manifested itself or returned back to the principle of love that makes the teachings of growth and development universal oftentimes we confine ourselves to a hood uh, area or a local setting of people that we personally feel comfortable with and that's not it's not it it's not it because what we have what we are as a community is bigger than that See, all people need proper education. All people need a strong economical foundation. All people need political representation. All people need to be able to interact in a social environment that's suitable for the mental acceleration, 
the psychological safety, and the physical betterment of all people in that community. Now, if we are not providing these things for ourselves and someone else is providing them for us, then that makes us a slave to whoever is providing those things. Now, knowledge, as Frederick Douglass said, makes a person unfit to be a slave. Harriet Tubman said she would have freed more had they known they were slaves. So we got to ask ourselves, do we have the knowledge to free us from our educational slavery, our economical slavery, our political slavery, and our social slavery? Or do we not realize that we are slaves? When we as a community of people decide to really figure that out for ourselves, then we can develop self-determination. That's where the change begins. With that, I yield the floor.